Well, thank you very much, Scott. It's quite nice to see the Angama Proud while there's plenty of alarm calls going on. Can you hear that? Sounds like somebody's brought their dog into the Mara Triangle, but it's not a dog, it is a jackal. And I suspect that it is alarming at the lions. Now, there are all the little ones there, they're actually coming out of the bushes, which is quite nice. And it seems as though <clears throat> we, we might be able to see uh, even the tiniest. Oh, there come the really little ones too. Oh, look how small they are. And the lion on the right has either got a wildebeest's tail or somebody has lost their wig. I'm not sure which one. It could be either. <laughs> I'm, of course, just joking. It is the tail of a wildebeest. That's apparently uh, what they managed to catch at some point. And they feasted upon it. They finished up their kill. So their bellies are full. The little ones are happy. The adults will be happy. I wonder where they're moving across to now. But they're going across the other side of the road. Now, uh, please bear in mind, there are lots and lots of vehicles around here, so I'm quite restricted to moving around. <laughs> oh, there we go. Rough and tumble. I'm doing a little somersault. Oh, that's fantastic. So we will watch them as they cross over, and, and then we'll have to wait for some cars to move around before we'll be able to reposition. But isn't this so sweet? Now, these are the youngest cubs of the Angama Pride. They're quite little. I'm not exactly sure how old they are, but I would guess for their size, they must be around some, um, maybe three or four months old? Five months? Between, well, somewhere around there. It's difficult to tell when you haven't seen these animals age. No, I'm going to say about four, yeah, four, four months old, somewhere around there. They're quite little. Off he goes with his toy. <laughs> Patty, you said so many cubs. Indeed, there are. They just keep coming. There's more and more coming out of the drainage line. It's really, really quite uh, beautiful, actually. Uh, I still have yet to see all the lionesses of the Ngama Pride. I've only, I've only seen three. I don't know if there are any more. I thought there were maybe five lionesses from the pictures that I was looking at that James put up on his map, but I could be mistaken. Uh, that is going to be my goal today, because today will be the first time I actually have a gap during the day to uh, focus on learning about the lions of the Mara Triangle. So I'll do that between drives. I'm going to print myself a map. I'm also going to try and start plotting where I've seen the various lions on a regular basis. And the spot that we're at at the moment is where the Ngamas like to hang around. This is their favorite drainage line. Angeline, you say, oh my goodness, my heart. I suppose that's a good way to describe what's going on here. It is a very, very precious sort of scene. Now, there's a lot of vehicles moving around, so you might be able to see them. And, of course, the jackal has now caught the attention of these little ones. I think that's why they're creeping across the road. And, of course, that jackal's not brave enough to show itself. It's probably hiding in some shrubs, just shouting out, saying, I can see you, go away. Very scary. Now, we're pretty much wedged in here. We can't really go anywhere, as you can see. Um, so we need to, well, we'll try. There's another gap through the cars, but they're about to disappear out of it, I'm afraid. Uh, and that is our view of the lions for now, just until we can sort of shuffle around these cars. So we'll see if we can get another view of these beautiful cats. I'm going to send you across to Byron. He, of course, is walking around on his own two feet, not on his hands. He's looking at some tracks, and he's got an expert tracker with him by the name of Herbie.